So today I think we're going to talk about the flex plate system by Biltec. Um, as we all know, there's all sorts of different ways to print basically on different surfaces. The, uh, this, the, the most common one is glass. This is actually all talking mainly about the CR-10. Um, and you can of course print on glass with glue stick. You can do it with Magigoo, which I have here somewhere. You got Magigoo. Um, basically all additives that are used to give you something to help stick on the surface. So there's that one. And then there is surfaces that are adhesive that go onto surfaces, such as Biltac. Biltac is designed to actually stick to another surface. Uh, for instance, you can do it to glass. So this is another piece of glass. Um, this one is actually a, kind of a knockoff from Maker Farm. Um, seems to work really well. Um, almost at times too well because certain times it'll actually stick so well that it's, it's kind of hard to get anything off without destroying it or damaging it. They're pretty strong but they can cause a problem. So what I ended up going with was BuildTech and what they call the flex system. And what this is, is I can't turn it over for a number of reasons, but it's basically a, a surface that has a whole bunch of magnets in it. That's some leftover adhesive. Um, anyway, the, uh, and the idea behind this, this will stick to another surface. And then onto that is a piece of metal that has the build tack on it and it's flexible. And you can see through here, I've used this one a lot, um, but it's flexible so it lets you pop off the prints. Super easy. I mean, the only thing I've ever had stick horribly tight has been um, basically flex. I, I was having some issues. There's one spot for whatever reason it stuck really, really tight. Um, now, what, one of the interesting parts about this build tack was I had a situation that it was working really good, and then all of a sudden it started it started declining on how how good it worked, and it was really kind of cool because the first time I went ahead and replaced it, um, but it gets kind of expensive. It's like ten bucks, twelve bucks a sheet, so I figured there's got to be a better way. I saw a little bit of uh, talk about sanding it, and I decided what the heck. Um, the next one that started having little issues, I took some sandpaper. What grit have I mainly been using? I don't even know. So this is 220 grit that I used. And I literally just, you just sand all over it and it like refreshes it. And of course after that you're going to wipe it off with a, a clean like paper towel with some isopropyl. And it, it's awesome. I mean it sticks really really good. I'm able to pop it, pop it off, pop the print off, wipe it down, pop it right back on the bed. Okay, so life is good. The problem that I had is when I first got it, I got this in response to some printing issues that I had early on in my CR10 days. And honestly, in hindsight, a lot of it was trying to figure out a way to compensate for not really knowing what I was doing. Um, learning experiences, but the problem is that I stuck it onto the glass plate. Um, and the issue that I think's going on is that's a lot of weight because you've got a pretty hefty 12 inch, 300 millimeter, whatever you want to call it, um, build system or build plate on the CR-10 to begin with. And then you throw this thick glass on it which is not light, and then you throw this with a bunch of magnets along with a metal piece of build plate. And all of that weight <laughs> ends up being quite a bit of force for the Y-axis 
to yank back and forth. So what what ended up happening after it worked great for a while, never had any issues, and then all of a sudden, out of the blue, I started getting layer shifts, um, which I think was the stepper motor uh, on Y getting weaker from having to drive so hard. So I went in, boosted up the currents, and it helped. It's not really shifting all that much anymore, but I still get occasional shifts. Motor's hot. So anyways, I wanted to actually um, reduce the amount of force um, that's going to be required. So I want to take it all down and actually replace the build tack, pull it from the, the glass plate, and then refresh it. So anywho, that's pretty much what this video is going to be. I'm going to do a second video specifically talking about um, what I did to swap this out. But again, that was kind of my beginnings was I put tape, literally the, the tape that came with Sierra 10. I had that originally on the, on the build plate. It was actually on this piece of glass. And like almost all the CR10s, it seems like this one was bowed. The glass seemed to be bowed in the center. So even though this did help putting this Maker Farm on there, I was still having some issues. Um, so I went ahead and got a boron silicate glass. Another piece. Um, did I really need it? Did it, did it really help? I honestly don't know. Um, they're not cheap. So, I mean, all these things add to the cost of a cheap printer, or a cheaper printer. But anyway, so then I went from that, and I tried some glue, and I tried Magigoo. I, the Magigoo just doesn't work for me. I'm going to probably at some point try it again, but I have trouble really messing with it a lot because I like Biltac. It seems to work really well for me. Um, so, anywho, I went from that, ended up with the Flex system, and next video I'm going to talk about... Uh, swapping it out because when you peel it off it causes issues so anyways thanks for watching hopefully some of these options kind of help somebody somewhere along the line and you'll at least understand how i got to where i'm at right now thank you much and have a good day and make sure you check out my next video